That title was something I always wanted from the day it was brought here. That's what I wanted. At the time, I couldn't be in the tournament. I was going to have the tag team champions, but I always knew that was going to be for me. Tommy was just holding it, uh, not to be arrogant, but I just, it was a belief in me and what Robert had taught me. Like, that was my title. I was going to take it and when nobody going to stop me from getting it. How do you feel about Pinarelli's quest to remove you from being the top man in the company? They all come from me. I mean, they come from far and wide to APCW. I remember they didn't know who we were. Some still don't. I look up and every time I turn around, it's someone new. But that's what Robert prepared me for. Like, he, he allowed me to build on the things I had. So when I look at people like Tommy Pinarelli, it's like, hey, I know you want the top spot, but I was trained to be in the top spot. I was trained to defend the top spot, and that's what I want. That title for me is not, it doesn't make me the hunter. It just gives me, as a hunter, the ultimate bait. So that guys like Pinarelli will stray into my lane, and I'll eviscerate them like I have many, many times before. You used interesting terms there, the hunted and the hunter. Uh, some would argue that even though you enjoy being in the spot where you can use the Tyler's bait to be the hunter, that in reality you may be the hunter. You've had several, champion, several championship challenges come up to you, uh, all of which are varying in degrees of skill set, size. Uh, Sean Sims, Reynolds, Dark Mon, I mean, you, you've gone through quite a, a list one way or the other. So let, let's start with arguably the biggest challenge, your series with J.R. Reynolds. Uh, J.R. was fun. A uh, lot of intensity, a lot of cheap shots, but he brought something out of me that I needed. What people don't realize is I've been on every single APCW show since the day the door is open. Um, I don't look at this ring as anything other than home. This is my sanctuary. Uh, I put my heart in this, so I'll always be the hunter. You see, this was part of the plan. Win the title, stand in this ring and wait for them to come to me because when I went to them, they didn't want to deal with the kid. When I went to these promotions, I, I, I wasn't ready. I wasn't the guy. I wasn't in that spot. But when I got here and I busted my backside for this place and I trusted in my trainer, now everybody wants to be a star. Everybody wants to come for me. That's why that is the bait. Because when they get in there with me, it's one thing they can't do. They can't outwork me. They'll never outwrestle me and they won't give their hearts to the people the way I do. Reynolds was fun. He just didn't have the fire for the people that I had, or that I have, rather. Sean Sims, who went through a triple threat just to get a title shot. Sims is probably the most dangerous out of all. And the reason is, he has that fire. He's trained with the same pedigree that I have. And he feels probably the way I felt most of my, all of my career. Sims felt overlooked, felt like nobody paid him attention. And when he came at me, I felt it with every shot, every blow. I'll let you know right now, I don't look forward to him coming for that gold again, but if he does, it'll be the same result. Finally, the dark mind. Now, some would say that that match didn't end necessarily in your favor. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't a uh, championship match at the time, but the fact of the matter is, is that it puts him in a favorable position. It makes him a contender, a legitimate contender to the, to the crown now. What do you say about Darkmon? You just proved my point. Darkmon, he got away with one. But because I'm champion, Darkmon has to come back to me. You see, it'd be different if Darkmon beat me the way he did and he was champion and I had to jump through hoops. But I have something Darkmon wants. And every time somebody screws me over at APCW, it's a guaranteed fact. I get my revenge. And I get it in a way unlike they've ever seen. So Dark Mind on April 21st, when you get your rematch for the gold, for the APCW Heavyweight Championship, the one title in this state, in this world, in this universe that means more than any other title. Understand this. Saint, for you to grow your evil empire, it's gonna be added to my story to my collection of posters. And you'll understand like everybody else that in Douglasville, Georgia at All Pro Championship Wrestling, when you're the APCW champion, you have the right to be arrogant. You have the right to be cocky because you know why? 
You're the king of all you survey and the greatest promotion in the world. That is a fact and I stand by it. Final words for the uh, fans of APCW. Thank you for making me who I am. If it wasn't for the APCW fans believing in me with no other set of fans, no other promotion would, I'd be nothing. Robert believed, but the fans, they made me. And no matter how hard Robert would have trained me, he's trained a lot of people, but they didn't take to them the way they take to me. So to the fans, I hope to see you on April 21st. I'm more excited about this than anything else. I am a very grateful person for the fans. I love talking to them, interacting with you, and I can't wait to see you again. It's gonna be one hell of a ride, and I'll assure you, we have a lot, a lot prepared for you this year. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Thank you.